Welcome to this tutorial, Creating an Audio Disc Using Burn for the Mac OS X. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Burn program on your Mac to burn audio files onto a disc, and to create an audio CD, an MP3 disc, or a DVD audio disc based on the type of disc format you want. At the end of this tutorial, you should be able to select the type of disc you want to create, choose the appropriate audio files from your hard drive to burn onto your disc, set preferences for the burn process, and burn audio files onto your disk. To complete this lesson, you will need access to a Mac with a disk drive, a blank CD or DVD, and 10 minutes of your time. First, we're going to take a quick look at the burn program and its interface. To open burn, let's click on the shortcut to this program on the dock. You will now see the burn window with the name of the software at the very top and the different types of content that the program can burn listed below. Since we're going to learn how to burn an audio disc in this tutorial, let's click on the Audio tab. We see a text field here to enter the name you want to give your disc. The drop-down here shows the different disc formats that you can burn, audio CD, an MP3 disc, or DVD audio. At the bottom of the window are the plus and minus buttons. You can click these to add or remove files from the list of audio files that you've created. The file and time columns will list the different audio files and their length that you've added to your list. And the total time here shows you the total length of all the audio files on your list. Before we proceed, let's take a quick look at the different disk types and examine the audio file formats that they're compatible with. All standard CD players typically play only audio CDs. Audio CDs contain files with the WAV file format and can hold about 20 to 25 audio tracks depending on the size of these tracks. You'll have to use a standard compact disc to create an audio CD. If you'd like more tracks on your disc, an MP3 disc would be a better option. MP3 file formats are compressed, which means that you can store more than double the amount of files that you could in an audio CD. And while MP3 files can be burned on a standard CD, remember that not all CD players are designed to play MP3 discs, so before you decide to burn one, be sure to check your device compatibility. The third option, and a less common one we have, is the DVD audio disc. For this, you must use a blank DVD. DVDs can hold audio files of a much higher quality, like FLAC files, and can typically be played only in a standard DVD player. Sizes of FLAC files vary greatly, so the capacity changes based on the files you select. For this tutorial, we're going to go over the steps to create an audio CD using a standard blank CD. Let's begin by making sure we've selected audio CD from the drop-down, and then just go ahead and insert a blank CD into your disk drive. Once you've done this, you'll see that the amount of storage space on your disk appears here and a dialog box appears that allows you to choose an action from this drop-down. Or you can just go ahead and click ignore if you want to return directly to the Burn program. Now let's name our disk. Let's go up to the text field, select the word Untitled, and just enter the name you want for your disk. For example, My Music. Now let's add some files. Let's click the little plus button in the bottom left of the window and then navigate to the folder that contains your audio files. To select multiple files, hold the shift key down and then click on each of the files you want to add and then click open. Burn will process these files and then add them to your list. You can also add files by navigating to your folder uh, through Finder. Once you're in your folder, again, hold the shift key down, click on the files you want to add, and then just simply drag and drop them into the Burn program. Again, Burn processes these files and then adds them to your list. Now we're going to go ahead and click Burn. Once you click on the Burn button, a dialog box opens with preferences. You can set the burn speed here. We're just going to stick to the default speed, which is 24, and then we're going to click Burn again. Once you click Burn, a dialog box opens showing the program processing 
opening and then writing each track. Once the tracks have been burnt, a closing session message appears, which indicates that the process is ending and will soon be complete. Once the dialog box disappears, you can close your program and eject your disk. Your disk is now ready to use. To burn an MP3 disc or DVD audio disc, select the appropriate option from this drop-down and follow the same steps to add and burn files. Remember, you must select audio file formats from your hard drive that are compatible with the disc type you selected from the drop-down in Burn. Now let's do a quick review of what we've learned in this tutorial. To create an audio disc in the Burn program, select the type of disc you want to burn from the drop-down, insert your disc, and name it. Select compatible audio files from your hard drive, set preferences in the burn program, and then burn your disk. Congratulations, you've successfully completed this tutorial. For more information on the burn program, please visit www.burn-osx.sourceforge.net.